everybody, my heart like flicking feathers again today and I'm tying a duo style clinkhammer, right? I mean you can do this with any dry fly but um, the clinkhammer is a popular pattern for the, the clink and dink as they say, New Zealand method, whatever you want to call it. As always I'll put a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody who wants to support the channel get access to the members only content and be entered into the giveaways you can also subscribe, hit the bell button that's all, appreciate it so I've got my hook in my vise, it's a size 10 Daiichi Clinkhammer and I'm just running on a bed of Unity Ot in black and come right round the bend right. and I'm going to attach my tippet ring right, I'm using a 2 mil ring here it's a, a Rio it's a 2 mil trout size and I've put it onto some braid some this is 0.19 braid rate, it's, you can see that's 27 pounds. Um, any any of the super lines, like Power Pro or Fireline or anything like that, are ideal. And I've passed it through the loop twice. That just uh, stabilizes it a bit, and it's so thin that it doesn't crowd the, the the eye of the ring. If you use nylon or a monofilament it's a bit too thick I think because you want this to be considerably stronger than your tippet. So just coming up here and I've caught it in at the back and at this stage you can pull it and I like to get it so that it sits just up against the body. And then it can be a wee bit fiddly at first until it gets started, but just come up tying this off, fold it back and then come back across maybe halfway down and then you can even do it again if you want. And you'll see I'm no I'm not using touch and turns yet because it's just easier to sort of consolidate everything from the waist and then come in with a bit of glue. And the old super glue, and then I'll come in with tight touch and turns. Covering all that up, and that will never ever pull it. I mean, that's there's no trout on earth that can break this. Um, nice, secure. Uh, for the wing post I like aero dry wing because it's really buoyant um, and I've taken just a single length off the card which is four strands I'm going to double it and that's my wing post just come up here a couple of wraps and I'm going to tie it in like a spinner wing just a few nice tight figure 8 wraps are in it and that locks it and then 
post. I mean, you're basically just tying your parachute dry as normal now, except there's a much heavier wing than usual. Got to put a wee ribbon this one, I'm using peacock uh, uni tinsel. Some black dub and I'll just use uh, SLA, um, no, super fine. I'll use just get this on. Nice and tight. And then I'll take my thread back. And make sure that you dub all the way back to the ring. Like that, and that keeps it nice and stops it flapping about as much. And then up. I'm just going to so I build a taper as I go. Normally when you were tying a clink hammer you would, well if you tie them the way hands does, you would um, have tied the wing along the body and then trimmed it into your taper. But when you're using them as a sight indicator, I like to have all of the buoyant wing material up above the, the hook. Maybe just a wee bit more. Obviously, you can adjust the size um, depending on how big the nymph is that you want to hold up on nymphs. So, now that I'm at the thorax area, I'll just wind this tinsel up, put a wee bit of flashy segmentation into the body. Get to the front. Tie it off. Trim away the waist, and now I'm just going to turn my bobbin upside down and use my other hand. Create a short post. Now you don't need you don't need to run a big long thread post up, but just enough to sort of stabilise this so you can wind the hackle around it. It's plenty. And then rather than the sort of traditional peacock, I'm going to use peacock black ice dub. Um ice dub takes a floating quite well. So we'll just build up the back. And then we're ready for the hackle. I'm just using a saddle hackle here. It's a sort of variant grizzly. Um, sort of patches are like mottled furnace on it. It's nice. It gives you a sort of Adamsy effect, I suppose. It's not really an instant Adams. Um, but it's no bad. So we'll just get that tied in around the stem, around the post. And I'm tying it so that the convex side is down, right, the, the shiny side, so that it creates a sort of cup effect. And then 
I'm going to take a few turns up. And then I'll come back down through them. And don't be shy with your hackle here, like really, you can really get it on. I'm no caring about is it very translucent or whatever, you know, if it's a mass of hackle. I mean, the primary purpose of this is a float for the nymphs rather than. delicate dry uh, although it's something that the fish can obviously eat just got to tidy that up just draw the hackle back tie right back in against it till you're right up to the post any of these wee sticking up fibres trim them away although the fish really don't care stub and then just come in just lift the hackle yeah dubbing right in there can if you want come in behind just to sort of figure it through just to make sure you get a good kind of coverage on the bottom and then oops. I just put that free there take a couple of wraps and whip finish Come a duo style. Just got to put a wee bit of varnish on the thread. Now the last thing I like to do trim the wing. And I don't mind leaning it a bit big, you know, you can cut it on the water if you feel it's unbalancing the fly um, but you can leave yourself a decent size a decent size wing again so that you can see it and I like to take this stuff water shed this sort of permanent waterproofer get a wee drop it on my finger and rub it so that it's just that's it. and I rub it right into this dry wing in the hackle and I don't mind if it touches the thorax but I don't want it on the abdomen and then you can set that aside to dry right, uh, I think you need to leave 24 hours But uh, there you go, a duo style clink hammer. Nice and buoyant. Oh, this will hold up a, a tungsten beaded nymph for a couple of just slightly lighter flies as well if you need them to. Um, good fly to have in your box. So, hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Tight lens, guys. Bye.